morning, everyone. It is my distinct pleasure to um, be here to join you in this beautiful homecoming. Thank you so much for coming. I am Piusha Anarvena, and I am currently residing in Pisa, Cebu City. I was born in Bogo City, in northern part of Cebu. And I was raised with humble beginnings living the farm in the northern part of Cebu. And today, I am proud, standing strong, representing the transgender women from all over the world as we journey towards an inclusive society protected with equal rights and opportunities. Ever, ever, ever since I was a child, I had been raising different kinds of animals. Thus, I have been advocating for animal rights protection. I believe that each creature must be protected and must be given respect. While the human being tops the food chain, I advocate the animal must be given the human touch, especially in the protection of endangered species. In the care of pets like dogs and cats, and above all, human must learn to respect and alleviate the plight of animals in general. While the LGBTQIA sector faces different challenges in their gender identities and expression, the, the transgender community for me is the most vulnerable. We have special needs because we undergo different medical, physiological and even mental conditions and procedures. Our gender expression goes to extreme lengths and I hope that there will come a day that we will never be judged mainly by our appearance as a passable woman, but we will be judged by the content of our hearts and the ability of our talents and skills. And by the way, we treat people with generosity kindness and love. Again, I am Yusha and Rabena, and I am your Miss International Queen Philippines. Thank you and bye, my Last 2012, when Kevin Ballot went, and she inspires me a lot. Go pa pa and I love her. I so love Kevin Ballot, and she inspired me to join Miss International Queen, that one day I will be one, to represent the Philippines, and now it's a dream come true that we are for this international team. Yes, we're so proud of you, and thank you so much for you know, raising the flag. And the next question to you is, do you have a boyfriend right now? <laughs> it's a secret. Okay, so uh, is it safe to say that you are already taken? Yes. Not taken for granted, I guess. <laughs> and my last question is, what's, uh, what makes you blush? Aside from blush on, what's <laughs> making me blush right now is wearing this crown. Thank you so much, Mother Michelle, for the opportunity. Can you tell us what happened and then after that one, oh, candidate mo uh, my pouty lips now, you need the thumbs that intriguing. But the good thing, it was explained, but can you tell us the story about that one? Go ahead. Actually, Anne Patricia Lorenzo, the first time we was really my good friend. We keep talking backstage and I already talked to her about like, if you were gonna win, I will support you always because she's my idol. She's an artist in English at the end. And by the time that we two, in the last two standing, I keep telling her, if you will win, this, this, you really deserve this because you're my idol. And I will all support you all the way. And when my name called, my number called, and my I was really crying. Like, oh, I, um, I feel that while my hard work fades out, I really work hard for this team, this international team. And that's what I um, I was all thinking after um, calling my name. Sorry to thank you because I really work hard for this, and thank you so much. And we deserve it so much. Open Cara, thank you very much. And um, I think 13 years old, I started joining beauty pageants, small pageants, and I was inspired by my friends because I have a cousin who also joined uh, Miss Gay, we call it Miss Gay in Barangayan. And that's it. Like, 
after that, I was I joined Queen of Cebu here in Cebu. That's the very prestigious pageant. And now it's Queen Philippines. I was one of their candidates. And from there, I was inspired to look more beautiful because oh, I was inspired by the candidates. They're so pretty. And, and to the people, to the generation right now who wants to to transition or who wants who is dreaming to become a beauty queen work hard for it and be yourself and don't don't forget to look back on where you came from thank you we saw all the candidates um it was the first time that the judges saw the candidates because we were doing the closed door interview the one who was doing the closed door interview was the Bangkok, I mean the Pattaya, Thailand judges. And it was the first time that we saw the candidates when they went out on stage. Really? Makita ang ni si Fusha. I don't know, she was so amazing. Well, everybody has their bets, early bets, because Fusha isn't that visible in social media compared to the other transgender women who joined the pageant. But when she was on stage, she was totally the one that stood out from the crowd. Um, I was only one of the 10 judges, and well, Shpusha was my number one. I have to say that. Um, she, uh, well, I, would always so, uh, I would also be honest that she didn't, she didn't really have the best answer, but well, criteria for judging, looks was higher. And you, you cannot deny the looks of this lady. Murag, karo ko na walk sa community. If you're if you're sitting or standing next to her, but really, she, she yes, she might have come out from nowhere because, but through, through social media, she wasn't as visible. But when you when the 26 candidates were on stage, she was the one that stands out. So congratulations. You totally deserve it. I mean, they did this bias na taga I know Fusha because she joined the Miss Mandawe, um, uh, Miss Mandawe beauty pageant also, like in 2018. She wasn't really the standout there, but in that pageant, in the MIQ, na usab bini siya science project bini siya. Totally, totally. I mean, ah, oh, na mga biko, and I'm not alone there. Na musuting na maalama bici Fusha. When on stage, I mean the color, the skin, the body, the beauty, the smile, everything, the pasarela. She was amazing. So congratulations again. I really don't know where, uh, where to start and what to say. Um, I'll just maybe start with the first time that I met Fusha. I think that was way back 2018. So we observed the day there, right? Yes, I was proud as Miss. Um, Queen world and of course all the makeup in the universe and fuchsia never mind <laughs> <laughs> uh, she didn't make it that time because she doesn't look that pretty before <laughs> so thank you to the technology and to um, getting aside um i don't really have much so, uh, much to say for fuchsia because we are we are close now, so I've been telling her a lot of things already, so um, I'll just keep it in private because it will be some kind of personal. And also, yeah, for the bond that we have established a long time ago, so I've known her for long now. Yes. And my only advice to Fusia and Ravenna Queen, um, Fusia and Ravenna, is to be like, this is really cliche to be yourself, um, of course, being you, being you, yourself, authentic self, that makes her stand out more because she's just being herself and that's the only you and that's the only one fuchsia that exists in this world. So be, be yourself, girl, and we know the world for pageantry, in all pageants, right? Plastika Juta Sha, I've been there. <laughs> I've been there. I was sent to Thailand. So I was the representative that time. So I know how it goes. So please don't get overwhelmed when you land there. Because that, that really happened to me. Na overwhelmed ako. Tas, 
you know, um, the culture of Thailanders, Thai people are not just not the same as ours. So I was really, um, I didn't know what did I do, what did I do wrong. I wasn't listening to my friends. So best advice again is to listen to your friends, your team. If you really want to bring home the crown, this is not just about the fame because. I think um, Ma Ma Mother Michelle, the national director, is a very good friend of mine too. She worked hard for this, and she deserves to be to have the, the third crowd for for Philippines. We did not. Um, she did not have this pageant para la ano siya, para for fun, for uh, for her fame, for business. It's to um, to get the recognition and also to um, prove them that we, trans women, are something as well. We're not just here to, to do, to have, you know, provide, uh, give fun, or give your, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I don't want to say this, but yeah, your fantasies, but we are more. We are more than that. And thank you, Mother Michelle, for bringing MIQ here in the Philippines. And of course, to all the people who have supported Fisha and Ravenna, the, the LGBT champion, Attorney Regal, for making this happen, for giving the full support. So I think I should tell you, okay, guys, but I was the Lady Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> And she's very supportive. I didn't get this kind of <laughs> I didn't get this kind of celebration, but I would understand that. You know, uh, maybe so we will make this happen. Um, and also, yes, thank you, Rigal. Thank you, Mother Carrie. To all the people behind this, thank you so much for supporting. And I'm just here for you, girl, to support you, to give you whatever you need, except financially, okay? And also, um. Uh, maraming salamat po talaga sa maninig na pagtanggap ni po sa Miss International Team Philippines, sa inyong pong provincia, dito po sa Cebu, Cebu City, sa Mandawe, and uh, sa Bugo, na pupuntahan din po namin tomorrow. And really, gusto ko po umpisahan ang lahat um, ng program natin sa mainit na may napagpapasalamat una-una po um, kay Attorney Rigal Oliva, um, ating at po, City Treasurer. Hindi lang po City Treasurer ng Mandawi City, kundi talagang ang nagpupush at yumayakap at nagtatanggol sa ano po, sa, sa, sa ating kasarian. Attorney Rigal, in behalf of Miss International Queen Philippines, maraming maraming salamat po. And sa lahat po na nandito, Mother Carrie, at sa lahat po ng mga Carrie Santiago, sa lahat po na sumusuporta sa ano, kay Fuchsia, hindi lamang po sa Miss International Queen Philippines. And as uh, yung po sa nabanggit kanina, I would just like to give uh, a little background of on what is Miss International Queen is all about. And, Papaano po uh, isin na sinila ang Miss International Queen Philippines? So Miss International Queen po is um, is a Thailand-based, Pattaya-based um, pageant for trans women. It has been in the industry from 2004, and today we have sent uh, a couple yearly na mga ano uh, gandang Pilipina, mga beauties from our uh, countries who've been re representing our our country beautifully, elegantly, queenly every year. And it so happened, it was just last year, July of last year, when we were awarded the first ever franchise in the Miss International Queen Philippines. Thus, the birth of Miss International Queen Philippines and, of course, producing the first ever Miss International Queen from Cebu, Fuchsia and Ravenna. And right, ang uh, aim po natin uh, this time is not just to be part of the top 10, not just be part of the top 3, but our main goal, our aim here is to bring home after 7 years the MIQ crown. And uh, 
I'm pretty sure na sa tulong po at sa dasal ni po lahat, sa tulong po natin lahat, fuchsia and would bring home the third round for us. So, and, and the Miss International Queen Philippines as well is not just about showcasing the beauties, uh, the beauty of our trans Pinay. It's not also just about staging um, a brand or a gorgeous pageant. It is also anchored sa maraming mga advocacies. One, we would like to promote tourism sa Pilipinas by um, staging Miss International Queen Philippines. Uh, having said that, the Miss International Queen Philippines po ay hindi lang para sa mga reyna ng isang syudad, hindi lang to competition para sa mga tiga Maynila. Ito po isang patimpala, ito po isang competition, beauty pageant na nilalakan ng um, lahat ng mga uh, kandidata from all over the Philippines. Just like Fuchsia, she underwent um, isang may bit na uh, proseso to be able to represent um, uh, Cebu. So, uh, in the last, um, kat yung katatapos lang natin na uh, MI Philippines 2022, we were uh, well represented. Lahat naman ng ano, almost lahat ng uh, city, major cities ng ating bansa were ano, represented po. And of course, uh, another uh, reason why we're staging Miss International Queen Philippines or why um, we, we, we hope, prayed, and was rewarded the franchise is again it's not just to showcase your beauty not just the same but of course we want to be the the, the channel kung paano natin maiaangat ang ano ang ating mga karapatan ang uh, world equality na siya ang pinaka core uh, reason kung bakit din merong Miss International Queen and of course proceeds na na Miss International Queen Philippines pageant would go not just sa ating mga charitable institutions, mga adopted charitable institutions, but also we would like to use yung process po natin para uh, makatulong sa, sa kahit pa paano paraan na maisulong, mapondohan ang ating mga projects with regards sa, sa Soji Bill. So again, this is not just uh, beauty pageant for trans women. So, si Fuchsia, ang corona po nakapatong sa kanya ay sumusimbolo na hindi lang kagandahan. But of course, it's a crown with a purpose. And salamat po and hope you enjoyed this beautiful homecoming presented to us and organized to us by, again, our beloved attorney, Riga Laliva and Mother Carrie Santiago. At lahat po, din Ate Riga and everyone here, Ate Misty, Ate Beth, and all. So yun po, let's enjoy uh, this afternoon. And again, let's pray and let's support our beautiful Queen Fuchsia. Yes.